Joining me over the phone right now is former Razor Rat Kevin McReynolds. And Kevin, as you know, it is day one of the 2020 MLB draft. So I just want to talk with you about your experience. What do you remember about draft day back in 1981? Well, I remember I had a cast on my knee. I'd been out of surgery for about a week, uh, blew out my ACL that that particular season. So uh, I'd had some scouts from different teams come and, and talk to me and, and told me I still was probably going to be in a first-round draft pick. Uh, actually, the New York Mets told me they were going to take me fourth, and they didn't. So, And San Diego said they would take me a if I was available, and there's the one that took me as the sixth pick. So, you know, it was, you know, I was just a baseball player. I didn't, I didn't really follow it so much. Like I guess it's such a big hype now. But you know, of course, when you when you're drafted, especially in the first round, it it, it makes you ecstatic to begin with. But with uh, in the situation I was, I know it's a it's a, it's a long road to recovery with an ACL injury. So. Uh, with the excitement, there's a lot of hard work to go just to get be able to get back on the field and, you know, kind of as we look back now, the rest of it's history. Well, you were the first Razorback to ever be selected in the first round of the draft. What's that like for you knowing that? Well, I mean, that's, you know, it's an honor, of course, but all in all, it's really, it's just a number. You know, you draft it if you're, you know, probably the the higher drafts may get more of an opportunity, but if you're a good enough player, no matter where you're drafted at, your talent will shine through, and, and you'll get an opportunity at some point. Well, you spent 12 years in the major leagues. How would you, looking back on it now, how would you summarize it? I, I think I had a good career. Um, you know, of course, you always think – think back and look at it and say, wow, I wish I could have done better here or there or whatever. But, you know, unfortunately, I ended my last two or three years with some injuries and it kind of ended a little quicker than it did. And then I actually, my career actually ended with the 94 strike. I never, I never played after that. So it's kind of a bummer at the end, but all in all, it was a good run. Uh, you know, it was a, it was a, a good decade plus to, to go out there and get paid for playing a game that I played for free for a lot of years. Well, as you mentioned, you know, things are definitely different now. Now the hype around the draft is is huge. What do you think some of these Razorbacks are going through today that they could possibly hear their name called? <laughs> I'm sure they're right on the edge of their seat right now. Um, it like it really is hyped a lot now on social media and all this stuff. Now I don't I don't do any of that, but I hear about how all this goes and you know the, you know guys get drafted in the first round nowadays it's i mean it's a it's a huge financial deal um that's a lot of big time money involved in that and um you know you can go on beyond that and be able to play for several years and be successful at it you, a man can really make just a ton of money and if you're successful, go out, put good stats, keep yourself clean, and just just be nice to people. That really is, is what it's all about. I was about to say, you kind of touched on it just now, but do you have any advice or words of wisdom to some of the Razorbacks who will possibly get drafted tonight? Yeah, just be humble. Don't, don't feel like you own the world. Um, you know, you're as successful as you've been at, at the high school school and college levels, you're, you're going to go against uh, people that are as good as you every time you're out there. And, you know, especially if, you, if you're making the, to the upper levels or even the big leagues, it's, it's a job. It's, it's completely different than playing as, as college or in high school because it, you'll find out that it, it's a job, not just a game. Um, and it's just one of those things where you, you got to you really kind of live it and kind of get used to it at the same time. It's a the travel is is one thing, and you know it's something young young guys. You know, that's the good thing about it. These guys are young, and they have the ability to grow in time and learn and see just what the whole situation's about. 
Well, as an alum, what's it like for you looking at what this Arkansas baseball program has been built into over the past couple of years? That's a, <laughs> it's turned out to be really, I mean, probably the envy of the whole college world. It's They've got the most awesome facilities. Uh, you know, you as older guys, we hope the, the guys that are there now appreciate what the stepping stones that were put into place for it to be at this point. Sometimes they may, that may get overlooked, but it really, it's it's a true accomplishment for Coach Van Horn and Coach DeBrian before that, laying those stepping stones. Uh, it really is. It's a, it's a Class A facility up there, and it's being run as a, as a Class A, almost like an organization. And so, Kevin, what, what have you been up to the past couple of years? What are you doing? Well, I, people ask me that, and I really don't know what to tell them because <laughs> I don't know. I play golf every now and then, and I, I don't have a set job um, on a piece of ground that I kind of keep up with. So there's nothing in particular that I really do, and it's nothing too exciting or, you know, it's just, it's just life. It sounds very relaxing, Kevin. Thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Okay, you're welcome.